If you want to represent the Couch Crew, check out the limited edition Couch Crew merch available for this month only. Also, Bed Boy member tiers and above get a 20% off discount on the entire store. So check it out at the link down below. Lose one Pokemon at random is not a real threat after all. What? What? It's literally... Oh my god. It's literally our... Or... Or our... our no, bro. Come on. Right, we're, literally, we're literally just going to flip a coin. All right. Hey, Google. Flip a coin. It landed on heads. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, you know. I don't understand. I know. You, you, you don't understand loss. I'm sorry, Google. <laughs> Let's keep it. Everybody, King Gorfish here, and welcome on back to the next episode of our Pokemon. Uh, I almost said Soul Silver, but it ain't Soul Silver anymore. It's our Pokemon White Astro Lock. If you guys are excited, yo bet hit that like button and also pick up Couch Crew merch today. Uh, you see, this is me slowly transitioning into Asteroid. Hey guys, Couch Crew merch available now. Shameless plug, it's a good old time. Thank you all so much for supporting the merch of the month. Next merch of the month is going to be really awesome, so look out for that. But, anyways, welcome back to the Astro Lock. If you guys did miss episode. What, 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 what was episode 5? I believe it was. So definitely go ahead, check out episode 5. It was a grand old time. We made our way to this new town. We lost half our team. You know, it just, it just be like that sometimes. But anyways, let's go ahead and go over that uh, Thanos snapped team. We got Guacamole level 19. Water and Grass type the Lombre. I think I already said that. Water Stone as well. Which, uh, we're not evolving him just yet. Let me go ahead and actually take that item off him. Uh, because I don't want to, I just don't want to, you know, take up an item slot. We're going to use the Water Stone at a more appropriate time. Uh, once we get some level up moves on him. But anyways, we got Razor Leaf, Water Gun, Cut, and Counter. Next up, we have Torrent from Takazo here at level 23 with Flutterbolts, Crush Call, Flame Wheel, and Smoke Screen as well. Thank you all so much for supporting the project. I'm very sorry the series has been a little inconsistent, but now, uh, by the time this goes up, we're going to have company uh, mostly gone, so we should be able to get back on a normal, active schedule, the Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. That's my goal. That's my objective. And also, you know, just talk, talk about, like, you know, future projects and all that. Bro, we literally... We literally, uh, no exaggeration, we have three more projects starting up, like, this week. We have, uh, the, uh, Heart Goes to Silver Soul Link with Ryan. That's gonna be starting up. Actually, that might have already started up. No, 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 it, it won't have started up by the time you guys see this. It'll probably have, have started up by the time the next episode drops. But, yeah, so we have the Heart Goes to Silver Soul Link with Ryan dropping soon. That's gonna be freaking incredible. Also, we have the Cage Lock, the Diamond and Pearl Cage Lock with my boy Equinox, also known as Jacob. Big shout to my man. Uh, we actually just recorded episode one in person, so that's gonna be super exciting. That drops the 30th, um, so that's gonna be really cool. And then also me and Vinny are doing a Mario Sunshine blind co-op uh, at some point in the near future. So look out for all this, man. We got so much amazing content coming on the channel very, very soon alongside, you know, typical live streams and all the, all that, all that good kind of stuff. You know, the simple, the simple stuff, the new stuff, the, the traditional stuff. So yeah, it's really exciting getting back into the group of things, man. I've been like just so all over the place, man. Like this past month with moving and the 4th of July and then company. It's just, it's been so much, dude. It's been really hard to like get back on a more traditional schedule with the videos and all that, but we're trying to get back in it. We're doing the digging our own thing and we're making it happen, man. I'm really proud of, uh, of like how productive I, I've been, you know, despite all the things that have been going on these past few days or a few, few weeks, honestly. But anyways, let's go ahead. Um, okay, Glamio, please just bite the dust. Please just bite the dust. Take a big old bite out of that dust. Come on, man. Just, just look at the ground. You know it's tasty. You know it's tasty. You know, you know you want to eat some grass. There we go. Get out of here, man. We're gonna go and heal up uh, with this nurse and get an encounter. Wait, can we get an encounter over here? Hold up. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, we got pinwheel forest. Okay, so. A lot of people um, are kind of torn on this. I know a lot of people like will count this area as a different encounter from the area inside the forest because technically they're two different areas. Technically speaking, they are. They have different encounters, etc., etc., etc. Even though they are both called Pinwheel Forest. Um, so comment down below what you think we should do. What, whether you think we should get an encounter in the actual forest or not. Or actually, I don't know. By the time this video goes up, we'll probably already be in Pinwheel Forest, like recording wise. So I don't even know. I don't even know what we could do. You know what? I'm going to make a tweet. I'm going to make a tweet. I'm going to make a tweet. Okay, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, let me let me just tweet it out real quick, and we'll get, like, a live, uh, like, engagement from this. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, Astrid Videos, you guys can go ahead and, uh, and get, you know, insight. Get, like, little behind-the-scenes stuff like this. Twitter is an absolutely fantastic way to communicate with me and be active on the channel. It's a grand old time. We're going to go ahead and tweet out, yo, quick, um, 
do 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 we get an encounter in the area outside uh shoot what's it called what's the forest called give me a second give me a second oh momento war for war in the area outside pinwheel ah oh, shoot man come on let's type let's type properly pinwheel forest and uh doing an encounter in the area outside and in the forest uh or is it just one encounter Bop, 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 skirt. I'm sorry to like take the time of the episode to do this right now, but like I want to get a live feed because now what we can do is we can check the tweet like towards the end of the episode once we actually get inside the forest and we can make the decision right then, right then, right there. Uh, so I said, oh, yo, quick, um, do we get an encounter in the area outside Pimmel Forest and in the forest, or is it just one encounter? Pull, uh, one encounter, uh, two encounters, and we'll set it for a day. All right, cool. There we go. Put the poll up. If you guys want to contribute, you already know what's up at Ashid Videos. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, there is something on my screen. That's no bueno. All right, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get an encounter in the outside area. What are we going to get? It's a Joltik. Oh, I love Joltik. Yes, I hate spiders, but man, do I love Joltik. Get in this Jolt ball, please. Thank you. No longer escape. That is false. We can escape all we like. Guacamole does not care about your basic legislation. Ha! Huh. Got him. Joltik. All right. We're going to go name this man Token because that's what he is. We're going to switch him out for an egg. It's going to be a really good time. Hopefully get a poke effect. That'd be kind of sweet. Let's go ahead. Rock this out. Beep, 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 boop, boop, beep, 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 boop, beep, 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 boop. Token. Cool. Nice and powerful. All right. Let's go ahead. And, uh, yo, I'm looking at the, the straw pole on the corner of my eye right now. And it seems like most people are leaning towards two encounters. So that's kind of wild. That's kind of cool. Uh, thank you all so much for uh, being supportive of my polls. I really do appreciate it. It already has 20 votes, which is kind of wild because it's only been up for like a couple minutes. That's kind of insane. Thank you all so much for being a very powerful Twitter fam. I really do appreciate it. But without further ado, Let's go ahead. We're not going to withdraw. We are going to move because that's what I do. I move across the country. I go to Atlanta. You already know what's up. Let's go ahead. Let's get a random, uh, uh random thingy bob here. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to do this. I'm actually, I'm going to use my, uh, you guys didn't, you guys actually informed me to, of this in the previous episode, but I, uh, I actually have the ability to use my mouse to like drag around like this and like, you know, pick eggs how I typically do. So we're, we're going to do box. So we're going to go back to box one, do something really simplistic like this. We're going to shake it around. Oh, what did I do? I did something. Oh, okay, now we're good. Move it around like this. And what? what do we got? What do we got? We have egg. Just egg. Okay. All right. I don't know. Maybe it'll have a name in here. Let me check. Let me check just to see. I, yeah, I don't think it has a nickname. All right. So we'll go ahead. If, if an egg doesn't have a nickname like this, because typically it would show up like in the, uh, the PC, especially it should definitely show up. So since it doesn't have a nickname, we're going to go ahead and name it after one of you members up in the, uh, up in the comment section, up on the channel. Thank you all so much for being members. I really do appreciate it. you guys are freaking legend. In case you guys don't know, uh, how the membership tiers work. Basically we have tiers. Now there's a love seat lad, which is just emotes, two bucks a month. Of couch crew, which is five bucks a month to get Discord server access, videos early, etc. etc. We have Bed Boy tier, which is $15 a month to get exclusive member content as well as 20% off merch. And then finally, we have the Mattress Masters, which is still a work in progress, but it's the $50 tier. If you guys have suggestions for that tier and perks you'd like to see, comment down below. But, anyways, without further ado, we have our egg, and it's going to be a milk tank. Okay, all right, that ain't that ain't bad. That ain't bad. We're gonna go ahead and find a member real quick. Like, give me like two milliseconds real quick. Yo, Milk Tank. That's actually sweet, though. That's actually... Actually, no, no, no. Before we nickname it, let's go ahead and do the poke effect. Let's do the poke effect. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm pulling up the spreadsheet. I, I do do that sometimes. All right. What's the poke effect gonna be? It's going to be... Drum roll, please. Uh... Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. And chug a gallon of milk. What? Oh wait, no, that's Gulpins. That's Gulpins! Wait, that's not milk things! Shoot! Shoot, I I okay, I controlled F. I, I did um I did control F and I did milk and it came up with that poke effect instead of the actual Pokemon that we need. Okay, how do you spell milk tank then? M milk tank? I'm just gonna type in tank. I literally can't find this Pokemon. What the hell? Oh and there it is! Lose one Pokemon at random. It's not a real threat after all. What? What? Okay. Lose one Pokemon at random. It's not a real threat after all. Okay. All right. So wait, I'm assuming. Okay. The, the, the Pokemon that we have to choose between 
It's it's literally oh my god, it's literally our quilava or or our our lombre. No, bro. Come on, I we're literally we're literally just going to flip a coin. All right. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead. We're gonna name this milk tank after my boy Finlay. He made the poke effect, so he is a member. Uh, and we'll just we'll just name it Finlay after my boy. That's very that's very fitting. Shout out to you, man. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the nickname. Thank you so much for being a member here on the channel. Anyways, we got Finlay. Let's also make sure to add the smiley face because I've been I've been forgetting that more and more here. But we gotta make sure we keep that in mind. But there we go. We got Finlay. Okay. All right. So literally, we just gotta flip a coin between Takazo and Guacamole. One of them has to die. Oh no. All right. Guacamole is gonna be heads. Takazo is going to be Tails. Hey, Google. Volume 10. Hey, Google. Flip a coin. It landed on heads. <laughs> okay, Guacamole, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> okay, you know... I don't understand. I know, you, you, you don't understand loss. I'm sorry, Google. <laughs> Oh no! Okay, you know, honestly though, I would I would have preferred that. I'll be honest. Like Takazo, Takazo is just so good, man. Takazo really is. I mean, I mean Lombre is fantastic as well, but Takazo is absolutely killing it. Goodbye, Takazo. See you in the next life. Well, I, I can't believe we literally just had to sacrifice Takazo like that. Or not Takazo, I mean um Lombre. Gosh darn it, man. My my English is all diggly darn messed up today. That's unfortunate. But yeah. <sighs> good game, man. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna level up this milk tank and uh, actually let me go Let me check them out first. Let's see what Finlay is rocking up to or rocking out with here We got tackle thick fat punishment. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, we're gonna level them up and uh, we'll, we'll get right back into the thick of things Bah! All right, there we go. Finlay is level 13. We're gonna throw him in the front that way we can get some experience on him I'm also gonna go ahead. I'm gonna take the um, Lucky egg off my boy Takazo. We're gonna throw it on Finlay just so we can really just you know Capitalize on my boy right here. So now we're down. We're back down to two Pokemon super unfortunate We really really didn't do much there We just kind of switched out a lombre for a milk tank, which I guess ain't bad. I mean, you know, it's still it's still something. Definitely is something. So we'll rock out, do a do darn thing. Let's keep um okay. Let's let's go ahead. Let's actually what am I gonna do? You know what? Let's take on some trainers over here. Take on some trainers over here, knock them out in the uh, in the outside pinwheel forest area. Because there's a lot of trainers over here. We can definitely get a lot of experience, get milk tank leveled up, and then we'll go ahead, we'll take on the gym, and then we'll head into the outside area or the inside area of pinwheel forest. That'll be the move, that'll be the objective. You're really gonna be doing that right now. Let's go for flare blood skirt! Get out of here, Prime. If you tried Dragonite, all right, let's go back into Finlay so we can get some experience on him. Dragonite, let's we can't handle this. God, man, what is with Finlay's moveset? Huh, his moveset. <laughs> God, that's ridiculous. Rap? Okay, oh, I see you, man. You're picking up You're picking up what I'm putting down. That's cool. That's cool, man. I used to know uh, Dragon Knight back in high school, which I can say now because I graduated. In case you guys didn't know. Um, but yeah, no, I, I can actually say that now, which is kind of crazy. He's, he, was a, he was a fun dude. A really fun guy. Rap, you really just did that. All right, you can stop right now. Crush Claw, goodbye. Good. Good. Look at Finlay go. He's rocking and rolling. He's doing the digging around thing. Let's go ahead and uh, see if we can teach my boy any TMs here because we could definitely... Okay, we have bounce. That's it. Can you learn bounce? He can learn bounce. Okay! Yo, that's something. That is definitely something. So I will take that to the bank and back. Hoot hoot. All right, we can bounce all over this man. Just bounce on him. Just bounce on him. Unleash on this man. Uproar, you tried. You tried. Boom. Get out of here. Man, one of my favorite things about egg locks and just nut locks and randomizers in general is uh, the ability to like like, like, use Pokemon like this, you know? Because I never get the chance to use Milk Tank. Like, Milk Tank, what? What? I never get the chance to. It's just really cool. You know, rocking out with the Pokemon. It's a little bit different. A little bit out there, you know? We got an item here. What's up? We got a pure incense. I'm pretty pure incense, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, shout out to Dylan. I don't know why. Just shout out to Dylan, man. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. I really I really enjoy hanging out with that guy. I'm gonna go for the bounce skirt. And uh, that did nothing. He goes for boomerang. Okay. I'm a little scared because Quilava is weak to ground. So I'm kind of not trying to play those games right now. We are gonna get the para, which is cool. I think this is a wild Pokemon, so I don't even know why I'm like spending time on it. But I might as well get the experience, you know. Might as well. We'll go ahead and rock out. What do we got here? We have a jinx. Oh look! It's Envious coming back from the grave. Oh I'm sorry, Envious. Go back to the grave where you belong. I'm sorry. Uh, Skitty, okay, we're gonna keep battling hit this man with a nice and powerful punishment. Skirt! Yo, punishment ain't that bad. What's like the, what's the, what's like the, 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 the thing about punishment? 
Like, what does it what does it do? What's the what's the niche thing about this? I'm gonna lean back a little bit just because of the fact that I'm kind of kind of getting tired sitting up. I've been sitting up for like an hour straight, so I'm gonna go ahead and lean back. Got horsey here. I uh, got my couch up in the back. My back is feeling sad. I'm gonna back up so I can preserve my back. Don't want to get scoliosis. Yeah, not trying to get in the. There's a there's a rhyme here. Not trying to get scoliosis. Yeah, don't want to get any roses. Yeah, ah, oh, got him. Ah, oh, yo yo, shameless plug, right? But bro, look at these. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these pants. They're called joggers. And dude, bro, bro, they are the cool. They are the coolest thing. If you guys have been following me on Twitter, you guys know I've been hyping these things up like crazy. Dylan and and uh, Jacob as well as Tobin, they got me on the the joggers grind. And bro, they're so nice. They're so comfy. They're so stylish. And look at this. Look at this, right? Oh my God. Look at the. Just, just look, look. <gasps> Is that a no? No, it can't be. Yeah, that's right. It is. It's a freaking zipper pocket. Look, and it's so roomy. And there's another pocket in here that's smaller. And there's a zipper on the back pocket as well. And there's another pocket over here. It's just, it's so good, man. It's so good. And the colors look so nice. And they they look great. And they're just amazing. If you guys uh, need a new pair of pants, look for joggers. Just invest, man. Invest while they're hot. Invest in some stock. Do what you got to do to get a piece of the jogger grind. Because I'm telling you, they're taking off. I'm telling. You, they, they really are and it, it's, it's crazy because you know as a guy who has always worn jeans uh, it is it is unruly it is um, it is it is enlightening to have discovered these joggers so I uh, I'm having a great time with it we're gonna go ahead we're gonna switch into my fire type to handle this grass type I feel like we could use a few uh, forest fires right now so let's go ahead just knock this man out with the flame wheel skirt 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 met a pod you can meta see yourself out Got him. That really did. That really did numbers. All right, cool. I just destroyed this whole man's career. We're gonna keep moving on. We got a Q bone. All right, we're just not gonna fight the Q bones because honestly, the Q bones are kind of scaring me a little bit. Let's keep moving forward. We got a. Uh, we got a couple of trains up here. Actually, got a Carablast. Hey, that's adorable, man. I love Carablast. He's so cute. He's so forgettable, but so cute, man. You know, honestly, that's a mood though when it comes to a lot of Gen Five mons. Like a lot of them are forgettable, but man, they're so good. I I, I do honestly believe that Gen Five had like the best selection of Pokemon. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, but the ice cream cone but the but the but the trash pokemon um but yeah no I, I i think regardless of those pokemon i think i think gen 5 had the coolest selection of pokemon i mean freaking haxorus are you kidding me haxorus hydreigon regiram zekrom galvantula volcarona zorua like what what are you are you shiitake mushrooming me right now like that's something out of a fantasy that's actually some amount of a fantasy. What else do you got? You got Snivy, Superior, Fantastic Mons. You got a Jellicent is really cool. I really like Jellicent. Um, what else, man? Just just name name more Pokemon, Frank. Keep going. Um, I'm forgetting I'm forgetting a lot of the Gen 5 decks. Not gonna lie, but I guarantee there are a lot of cool ones. There are a lot of freaking awesome ones. It's just it's just nice. It's a really it's a really fruitful Pokedex. I think uh, Gen 5 had the most Pokemon int introduced in uh, in any Pokemon game, so that's really sick. Uh, and just the variety is really this freaking Blitzel. Blitzel's awesome, man. Ah, Marak, this is cool. I know a lot of people don't like Marak. Okay, okay. What? 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 Okay. All right. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine, man. Just, just, just. You just, you just do that. You just, you, yeah, cool, we're running, I'm not playing those games, oh my god, dude, I, that, that music is so hype, bro, I love that so much, god, I love Gen 5, um, anyways, let's keep just investing in potions and stuff, we'll fight this guy, how you doing, man, I trained and trained like a madman, and my Pokemon trained even more, he's literally Saitama, man, I wish we could have kept that Ghastly, that Ghastly really just came and gone, or came and left, didn't he, I really wish we still had him around, he, uh, sends in the Farfetch'd, oh, Okay, little underwhelming, but I respect the decision regardless. Let's go. We're gonna switch into Takazo. Handle this man just like he handles his taxes with a pen. <laughs> so funny. Really enjoyed that joke. We're gonna go for the floor, but skirt! Get out of here, man. And now we're good to go. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna head back and uh, take on the gym. I think it's actually gym time now. So we might as well. We could wrap up this episode with the gym battle. We got the claw fossil. That's gonna be a second counter later on, which is fan flippity task. They've got Joltik here, which is very adorable. Not gonna lie, super duper cute. I highly respect that. Can we jump over here? We cannot jump over here, so we're not going to. We're gonna heal up at this girl right here. Shout out to you. I don't know why they put a trainer there when, or like a healing person there when literally like the the Pokemon is right there, like. You know, I mean, I guess it's convenient, but it's like, it's also like, okay, why? Uh, power angle. All right. <sighs> deep breath in, deep breath out. Uh, as you guys know, I'm kind of short breath right now because I'm feeling just, I'm feeling a little under the weather. I talked about it in the previous episode. If you guys did miss it, I highly recommend you guys check it out. But, uh, yeah, no, I, I've been feeling a little bit just like, 
oof lately. Uh, maybe just because, I, I don't know, I must have caught something while company was in town. Uh, which, by the way, we still have company in town at the time of recording this, but a lot of people are leaving tomorrow. I think actually, like, the, the last, like, today really is the last day. Uh, and then Luke, Luke is staying a little longer, but that's, that's about it. And Luke isn't even staying at our house. Uh, which is, which is, which is good, because honestly, we need time to, like, really get situated around here. Um, honestly, it's just, it's been, like, it's been so fun having so much company in town, but it's also been, like, really overwhelming, you know? I mean, it's really stressful trying to accommodate for so many people. And, uh, you know, while also keeping up with, like, work and, uh, you know, just everything that goes along with that. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and take on the gym leader, Lenora. Lenora, I'm gonna have to ask you to lend me your, your feet. <laughs> What? I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, man. I had I had a better I had a better phrase. I had something better to say, but I couldn't find anything that rhymed with Lenora and made sense. Anyways, welcome. The director of the Nat Queen Museum and the Nat Queen Gym Leader is me, Lenora. Why is she sitting in a basement, bro? This must suck. Well, in Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokemon you've so lovingly raised. Let's go! Pikachu and Eevee kind of sucked. Not gonna lie, but let's go. Yeah. I'm excited though. Lenora is pretty, 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 pretty freaking fantastic, and we're gonna be taking on her and her big old poopy hair. She has a Bonsly. Okay, we're gonna not let that bond slide. <laughs> we're gonna go into, um, no, we're not gonna go into, we're just gonna, you know what? I'm feeling dangerous. I'm feeling dangerous. I'm feeling a little dangerous right now. Mimic? Okay. Oh. Does that mean you're gonna start going for bides as well? Alright, um, please just attack me. Attack me, just do it. Just do it. Rock throw. Yes! Yes! You know, I've always wanted to, like, use bide somewhat, like, like, you know, well. And uh, I feel I feel like that actually worked. Why why did that work? That worked really well. Let's go for the bite again. Honestly, dude, we're killing it. Let's go for it, man. Now the only problem is that we're low on health, and if he hits us twice, he's not gonna knock us out with two hits, right? Yeah, we can take one more as long as he doesn't get a crit. Don't get a crit. Don't get a crit. He get he's, or just don't go for a rock throw. Oh, he goes for it. Okay, don't get a crit. Don't get a crit. As long as he doesn't get a crit, we're fine. Okay. All right, we're going to unleash, unleash on this man, bop. Dude, I love that, I love that. I never get to use like these sorts of Pokemon and these sorts of moves, so this is awesome, man. I'm loving this. We're gonna go into Takazo. Look at my man, bro. God, I love Takazo so much. He's got some flora. Please just go for the sunny day. Like, just make make this, make this a, a just a catastrophe. Make this a disaster. We're gonna go for the flame wheel. Easy peasy. Lemon squeeze. The flora is going to live that though, unfortunately. Goes for the ingrain, okay. I don't think that ingrain's gonna save you, to be honest. Like, if I'm being totally free with you right now, I just don't see that ingrain saving you, but we're just gonna pretend like it will. Go for the flame wheel. We'll just pretend like we have a little bit of a challenge here. And, uh, there we go. Will it kill? <laughs> it does. Nice. Anyways, uh, we're gonna go ahead, I think, just wrap this episode up here. Are we, are we basically good to go? Maybe we can get one more encounter? Actually, I don't know. We're, we're like, at the recording right now, we're, like, past the hour mark, so maybe we'll wrap it. Or, no! Actually, let's, let's get the encounter. Why not, man? We might as well make it a little longer. We do have more time on this video, so we should be alright. Defense girl? Uh, no. We're gonna keep old moves. We don't need defense girl. Unless, unless we're trying to use rollout. Actually, that would've been nice. But, yo! Uh, future Asher, go ahead and bop that boy on the layout. You already know what is up. Bop, 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 bop to the top. Bop, 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 da, 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 da. Got the basic badge. Yo, that would be the badge that Nora would give because she's basic. Got her. Dang. I'm not going to say I'm not gonna say the D word because that's also not allowed anymore. Dude, YouTube YouTube is crazy, man. YouTube is actually ridiculous. Me and Dylan and Ryan, we've been having some really like serious talks about it. We got shooting shot. Ah! Okay, that's the only type of shot I do like. <laughs> Not the doctor shots. Uh, dear, come quickly. You must have done anything to until uh, what? What's going on? Smelly, you come too. Come help us fight the bad guys. Oh, I, f I totally forgot this all happens. Um, let's go ahead. Let's let's see if we can learn a searing shot because that's actually ridiculous, bro. Look at that. Oh my god. Does it does it recharge? No, bro. This move is actually ridiculous. Oh my god. And Finlay can learn it. Oh, do we teach that? Do we teach that? What's it? What's its special attack? Does it have a good special attack? Uh, 32, 18, uh, yeah, let's not. Let's not, we'll hold on to it. We'll hold on to it for a future Mon that could take, uh, some really, 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 really good advantage of it. I think that'll be the move, that'll be the objective. We have Team Plasma. Now you wait, not fooling around! I'm sorry my voices are kind of lackluster today, my throat has been like, eh, you know? So you've come, Gym Leader. We, Team Plasma, claim this museum's Dragon Skull in the name of the Pokemon Liberation. Okay, all right. To show you we're serious, we'll steal it right before your eyes. That's really stupid, <laughs> to be honest. Well, there, here's our smoke screen. I like how he says we'll steal it right before your eyes, but he covers it up as he's stealing it. 
Like what? Like literally, that wasn't even stealing it right in front of your eyes. That literally was a, hey, we're gonna steal it. We stole it. Goodbye. You didn't see us steal it because the smoke screen. Huh? What's going on? Dang, go fight them, bro. Oh, we have to go after them. Yeah, we do. You already know what's up. The protagonist of my story. Yeah, yeah. And make my story something is something is something something. Yo, I cannot wait for uh, for the next season of My Hero Academia. It's going to be sick. Good day, Lenora. Oh, shoot. This is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from Mars Block again? Yo, one of my favorite things about Gen 5, one of my favorite things about Gen 5, I love how the gym leaders have such, like, a, like, an integrated part in the story. Yeah, like, all the gym leaders are very active, um, in the story, which I think is just incredible. Smelly! This is Berg! You may not look like it, but he's Castellius City's gym leader! Awesome, man. And just looking for a change of pace. Yeah, that seems hectic for something around here. What's up? Bro, I feel like I need to create a better voice for him, but I'm honestly just not really feeling it with my voice for now. What's up? Someone just walked away with my, with an exhibit! That's what's up! You guys don't have any, like, security on this? Dang, bro. Oh, hi, Smelly! Hey, Starbucks! What's everybody doing here? Yo, fun fact for you guys, I actually did get Starbucks today. I'm not drinking it on camera, obviously, but uh, I did get some Starbucks on my way to the airport because I had to drop off my boy Jacob as well as Tobin at the airport. Shout out to them. Um, shout out, shout out, shout out. It was very nice hanging with you guys. Uh, but yeah, no, so I had to pick up I had to pick up Starbucks because I was literally so tired, man. I got a, uh, I got a caramel, a chunky caramel? I don't know what it's called. It was caramel, it was a caramel frappuccino, but it had, like, chunks in it. It had, like, nuts in it. It was pretty good, actually. It was all right. And these two are your friends? Yep. Bianca and Sharon, oh, I see they're trainers. Okay, let's split up. Yeah, they are your friends. They're just trainers. Uh, Serge, I'll head this way. All right. Everyone, Sharon and Bianca, I want you to stay here at the museum. Uh, Berg and Smell, you two search for a forest. Got it, Berg, you show the way. I'm counting on you, everyone. Hey, yeah, uh-huh, you are smelly, is it? Are you ready to run up our robbers? That was an alliteration, I respect it! Oh, smelly, take this with you! Bell gave me a dialing machine to give you! Awesome, cool, sweet, um, yep, alright, cool, yep, alright, alright, done talking to you guys, see you all later. Alright, you know what? You know what? We will go ahead and, uh, and wrap this episode up. I'm gonna go ahead and check what the poll is, just so we know for the next episode. Let's go ahead and refresh. Alright, everybody, everybody is saying two. Everybody is saying two. It is 83% uh, two encounters and then 17% one encounter. So we'll go ahead and rock out with that. I'm gonna actually gonna go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna screen cap that real quick. Like give me like two seconds so I can throw it up in the video. But um, thank you all so much for watching. Sorry for the windows noise. Thank you all so much for watching today's episode of the Pokemon White Astrolog. I really do appreciate it. We should be back on schedule on Wednesday. Oh, uh, which is really exciting. We'll head into Pinball Forest, get another Poke Effect, get an encounter. It should be a fantastic time. Thank you all so much for your support on this series. Look out for the new episode on Wednesday. And I will see you guys next time. Peace! A uh, Pukui.